Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Now, Pisces, I have a little poem here that I'm going to read for you, okay? And this is your short and sweet message, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and read this poem that I wrote, okay? Today may not be your birthday. It's a birthday to me. A reset to experience some magical things. Things I thought of doing, things I felt inside. That feeling I had as a child, can't wait to go outside. Bathing, thinking over my day, how much fun I had at play. Under the covers, my mother tucked excitement, whisked me away. Came the following morning, the sun tapped my eyes. I leaped with anticipation. Mom made me rice cereal. Oh, what a surprise. A knock came at the door. Requested me to help create our day. Hopscotch, jump rope, jacks, and Simon Says. Every day is my birthday. It resets for wonderful things. A redo enhancement to do much more. I am a creative being down to my core. Today might not be your birthday. It's a birthday to me. A day to reset experience some magical things. Things you thought of doing. Things you felt inside. That feeling you had as a child couldn't wait to go outside. Waking the following morning by a tap of the sunshine. If there were any altercations, they're forgotten. We're left behind. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other placements. Get in where you fit in. If you don't find yourself in this video, please check your other signs. If you're cruising and viewing, our cruising and viewing is appreciated. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, 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 watch out now. I'm happy to see you here. Now, I know y'all see this pristine on me. I don't know why all of a sudden I got a phone call prior to me starting talk, uh, doing this video, and all of a sudden I broke out of sweat. And it was not no hot, sexy message. It was just a regular message. All right, so let's find out what your short and sweet is. What is Pisces' short and sweet message? What is Pisces' short and sweet message? Okay, Pisces. The Hierophant. All right. Some of y'all spirituality is kicking in and got strong, and some of y'all got some things going on around with the courts. Some of y'all just got so, enough been speaking to an official pertaining to court or some kind of legal matter. Could have been a traffic ticket. However, you got the hyphen in your life right now because mm -hmm, you're trying to get some clarity and some commu uh, some clarity with some communication from this hyphen. Yes, you are. You might look like you might have to do some traveling, however, but whatever this is that you're working on, it's about to come to an end. Okay, that cycle is about to be completed. And it looks like, oh, Lord, we ain't going to go there yet. That cycle is about to be, come, come to a complete end. Hold on. I see you. Okay, so, uh, so now, after you get this information pertaining to whatever this is from this higher fan, look like you're going to be laying down. You're going to be doing some praying, too. You're going to the most high about this stuff. I know it, babe. I know it. I know it. And you ain't giving up. And you're you going to see it to the end. You show sure Yes, you are. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pressam. Yes, sir, Mr. Pressam. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is going on. What else do Pisces need to know? And they sure the sweet. What do Pisces need to know? What do Pisces need to know? No, 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 no. <laughs> Is there any more messages for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and other placements. This card is sticking me. This card is my name. All right. Look like you got to stand your ground on this situation. Whatever this BS is, you got to stand firm. Stand your ground, baby. Mm -hmm. And don't back down. All right. All right, so it looks like you're going to have to put a little extra effort in whatever it is that you do. You're trying to bring to an end. All right? All right? You feel like you don't have the strength because it came out upside down. However, you got the strength. But let me see what the book got to say on it because since it come out in the reverse. <sighs> strength! Pisces need some strength! Pisces, okay. Yep, that's exactly what they say. 
Because it came out of the verse. It said weakness, sickness, lack of faith, disposition, discord, abuse of power, the fear of loneliness. Okay, so you, you somebody lacking a little faith in this in this situation, Pisces. Okay, and that might be you. Maybe you feel a little ill also. Maybe you got a little sickness or weakness going on on the inside of you. However, I'm gonna tell you right now, lean towards your higher power. Mm hmm. The Bible says the effectual, the, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Okay. Yeah. It also tells you you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. All right. All I'm going to tell you, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. It also tells you that faith is, if you just have faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Mm hmm. I'm trying to build you up on your most holy faith right now, Pisces, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Most High. Whatever this situation is, I declare and I decree it in the name of the Most High that you shall become victorious. And whatever it is that you desire that the outcome to be of this situation, so shall it be unto you. Amen. All right. Let me see. Now, I know I seen, and you know, I went through this the other day. I know I seen a card flip over, but couldn't find it. But we're going to look again. Because if that's the case, and I don't find a card that flipped over, what do I tell you how that means? That means there's, uh, there's, there's something here. There's something here. But I know I seen a card flip. Now, there's a possibility the card flipped over and flipped his ass back over. However, I'm still going to check. I am going to check in e way. All right. All right. So somebody trying to do some underhanded double dealing, motherfuckers. I don't like that shit. The reason I say double dealing is because I got these cards in my hand. And we know when people playing cards, they be trying to do a be a little shysty. They try to do something underneath the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Without, without you being able to, uh, to pay attention, you won't be able to catch it. But oh, the, uh, apparently we're going to catch this. All right. So, Father, what do Pisces need to know? Queen of Wands, passionate, creative. Look like you're gonna have to put your creativity to work, baby. Look like, yeah, look like you gonna you got enough passion to do it. You strong, you healthy. Yeah, hold on now. I'm gonna tell you what else this Queen of Wands mean. You got a burning desire to see this to the end. You're gonna make it. Pisces is gonna make it. You can buy it, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pisces, you can make it. All right, it says, woman of considerable energy, very attractive, very passionate, fond of nature, generous, and practical. Okay, so you're going to be using some practicality. Uh, you're going to be, okay, looks like you got a message coming in about some money. All right, you got some good news coming in about some money. Now, Pisces, you might be feeling like your money is funny, but lo and behold, you got a message coming in. Good message, money. All right, anything else Pisces need to know? Ooh, Pisces, things about to be all right, baby. Look at that, Queen. I mean, uh, look at that Ten of Cups. All right, so things about to go just the way you want it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the Ten of Cups anyway, because we know the Ten of Cups means uh, wish granted. Your wish is granted. So whatever the situation is that pertains to this high, high fit, the wish is granted. Whatever it is that you desire, so shall it be unto you. We just prayed the path of faith, right? Yes, we did. And this is your outcome. The Ten of Cups. Uh-huh. That's overload. 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 Overload of love and everything else that's good. <laughs> you got the house, the dog, the cat. You got your children back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it all. Okay, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Oh, no, where am I? Oh, I'm looking at it. Okay, so this is talking about your home, joy, your family, bliss, peace, plenty. You have more than enough. Uh-huh, love, contentment, and contentment of the heart. And it also says respect of the neighbors. Hello, somebody. All right, Pisces, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I'll be back to do another video just for you. Yay, yay.